Yo, yo, according to Spotify, this is my number one song. I guess so. Better wake up. I think it's time to wake up. Let's get it. It's time. We've been sleeping for too long. I think it's time to wake up. Uh. Listen. So much going on in the world. You kidnapping little girls. And I don't know what to do. I'm turning on the news. All I get is blues and I don't know. Uh. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to another episode of Red Lights Don't Exist. They don't. They're not there. It's in your head. <laughs> but welcome, y'all. I'm back. I'm feeling good. I'm recovered. You know, I feel better than I ever did, man. Um, if you don't know, man, I was out, man. I had to have surgery, get my appendix out. Um, whoo, man, it was a rough two weeks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't, I didn't see the uh, sunshine, man. I was just throwing up, man, and just it was crazy, man. But like I said, I'm, I'm back. I'm. I'm, I'm feeling good. I appreciate all the prayers, all the people that reached out to me, man, all the love, man. It got me through. You know, I thank y'all, man, for real. Real talk, man. But um, I'm still working, man. Um, Main thing I'm focus focusing on right now is the podcast, and gradually I'll get back into the other things that I was working on and some of the other things that I'm doing. But um, yeah, man, I'm excited about this podcast, man, and, and the feedback that I've been getting and the love and stuff like that. Y'all been viewing and sharing it saving it download it thank you i appreciate all that man made me keep going but today man i just wanted to talk about uh president uh well mr Barack obama <laughs> you know we still be calling him president but um i um before i before i got sick man i heard an interview he did with the breakfast club and it was intriguing man just to uh, get his perspective you know especially on the black community you know because a lot of us you know, are very, have been very critical and were very critical of him when he was in office. Like, man, why weren't you our president? Why didn't you do this for us? You know what I'm saying? You black, you in office, the, the highest position. Why you, why didn't look out for us? But, you know, he's the president for everybody. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing. It's just like, he has to go through a chain of command. It's just like, he can't be like, I want to do this. You know what I'm saying? send this lump sum of money to this community or whatever. It was just like, he can't really just do that without going through, you know what I'm saying? Different, you know, um, channels or whatever. But uh, I think that the people that's in your local community, you know, that's their job. You know, he could do what he can, but, you know, you have to do your part in your own communities, you know, as far as you're seeing some, you know, change immediately or, you know, just, just doing your part pretty much. But, uh, you know, Barack Obama, man, is just, I think he is that symbol, though. You know, that symbol for change. You know, he opened the door for Kamala Harris to be the vice vice president. You know, and who knows who else? You know what I'm saying? But like, we needed him to, you know, get in there to open the door for the next person. Because you know, before him, it was white, 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 old, white, old, 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 old white, white, white. I mean, it's just like we needed that change, man. And he he definitely did that. You know. You know, a lot of people was like, man, you voted for him because he was black? No, nah, that wasn't the only reason. But you got to realize, like I just said, he was that symbol, man. He needed to be in office so, you know, the world can see that we live in this world that's, you know, bigger than just, you know, black and white. It's it's, it's very diverse. It's so many different colors, you know. It's, it's a rainbow of colors, man. You know, and there's so many different people that come from different backgrounds. And I think that him being in the office kind of represented that, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, all them old, you know, white politics is done now. We just, we're moving forward, you know? I feel like if he just did that, you know, it's not completely enough, but it's enough for me because the next person is going to take it to the next level, you know, the next president, the next person that comes in, comes in office, you know? He may have not did, he may not had the opportunity to do everything, but it's just like, it's, it's, a, it's a process, you know what I'm saying? Like... It'll get better over time, you know, and I believe that. And that's how, that's just my philosophy on life, you know. Um, but I got a lot of respect for um, President. Well, we always call him President. You know, we still think he's President. But Mr. Barack Obama, um, I remember I lived in uh, 
Chicago, man, and during 2008, that energy, man, it was dope, man. And I lived in Hyde Park. You know, I worked at this place. I think it was, was it 53rd and Kimbark? And, you know, I was just working there. It was like a uh, Afrocentric shop, and I was doing Barack Obama T-shirts, doing Barack Obama paintings. That was my job. I call it, They called me the Barack Obama man. <laughs> I was just playing. But, yeah, man, it just was, you know, good energy, man. Barack, you could see him everywhere, man. He was he was a hero, man, especially in that community where he came from. Um, I remember I used to walk, I think it was 51st. Uh, yeah, going down 51st past his house or whatever. It's just like he had security he was a security guard and that was his job well a police officer that was his job was just you know be right there right by his house and sometimes they are you know cards you and be like you know let me see your license if you walk by his house it's like man just to experience that it's like man i can't believe i'm in this community where barack obama was from man just to witness that and, and feel that energy you know it was just so dope i remember i was by because his barbershop was in the community you know he just pulled up randomly it was like 12 SUVs pulled up, he rolled his window down, waved at people. You know, just a dope guy, man. You know what I'm saying? Genuine, it seemed like. But um, like I said, man, we can't um expect, well, you know, as far as just looking at when he was, for, you know, the president, it's just like I, we couldn't, we can't put that much, you know what I'm saying, on just, you know, him, because it's like his job is just so much bigger. You know, he's responsible for the whole world. He's a leader. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's not his job to just save this group of people. You got to think about, okay, if I do this, how does it affect these people? If I do this, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I just think it's unfair just to expect to the president to go ahead and save our lives. You know, it's just like they can try to do their best, but, you know, you still got to do your part. You know, and like I said, that's my philosophy. You always have to do your part. You have to do your part in your community. You have to do your part, you know, in your home. You know what I'm saying? The president is trying to do this, pass legislation, cancel this. and You know what I'm saying? That's cool. And if he can do it, that's even better. But in the meantime, I got to get my feet on the ground and do my part. You know, but yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. I just really wanted to talk about it, you know, a couple of weeks ago, but uh that's what I really wanted to get off my chest, man. You know, much respect to um, Barack Obama, man. Real talk. And remember, though, red lights don't exist. Peace.